Hello and welcome class 4 students to our today's English class. Today we will discuss the question answers of yesterday's My Sado poem. So let us begin. The first question is read the lines from My Sado and answer the questions. Okay. For sometimes suits up taller like an Indian rubber ball. Sometimes suits up taller like an Indian rubber ball, and he sometimes gets so little that that there is none of him at all. Who suits up? We have given you the answer also. Here, who suits up? The shadow suits up. The shadow suits up. What does the poet compare him to? That means the shadow has been compared to what? Let us see. The shadow has been compared to an Indian rubber ball. The shadow has been compared to an Indian rubber ball. Why do you think he changes his size? Why do you think he changes his size? Because the arts, because of the arts rotation. This is simple geography that earth rotates around its axis in 24 hours. So because of this rotation day and night happen. So, because of the earth's rotation on its axis, what happens? The angles between the sunlight and the point of the boy's position keeps changing. In the morning, the sun remains where? In the horizon. After that, sun comes and at the noon, sun becomes directly overhead. So, from morning to evening, the angle changes. That's why the size of the shadow keeps changing. So the next question. Okay, question number two. He stays so close uh, beside me. He is a coward, you see. He stays uh, so close beside me. He is a coward, you see. I would think same to stick to a nursery as that shadow sticks to me. Why does the poet Call him a coward. Let us see the answer. Here, why does the poet call him a coward? Because the shadow always sticks to the boy. Because the shadow always sticks to the boy, always stays with the boy. Like a little boy sticks to its babysitter or to its mother. Why the little baby sticks to his mother or babysitter? Because he is afraid to be alone. A little boy is afraid to be alone. This is why the boy thinks that the shadow is a, is a coward. Now to the next question. Pick up two rhyming words from the lines above. Rhyming word means the same sound at the end of a line of a poem. So, let us take what is the answer? This pick up two two rhyming words from the lines above. C and me. C and me are the two rhyming words. Who does the poet refer to as Nursi? Babysitter. The poet refers to the boy as Nursi. The poet refers to the boy as Nursi. Now move to the next question. Here. Sure. But my lazy, but my lazy little shadow, like an errant sleepy head, like an errant sleepy head, had stayed at home behind me and was first asleep in bed. What is the question? Why does the poet call the shadow an errant sleepy head? Let us see the answer. 
Why does the poet call the shadow and a run sleepy head? One morning when the boy gets up early in the morning, what happens before the sun rises? He saw dew drops on grasses and leaves everywhere. But the shadow was not there. Very interestingly, the shadow was not there. The child innocently thought that the shadow was feeling very sleepy. His sleep is not completed. Hence, he could not get up with the boy. That means uh, the shadow is still sleeping. The boy has got up from the sleep, but the shadow is still sleeping. Okay. Why do you think that the shadow went missing one day? Why do you think the shadow went missing one day? That day? Okay. I think in the early morning, the sun does not rise. This is the scientific explanation. You have to give the scientific explanation here. Why do you think? That does not mean the, the boy thinks. The boy thinks that the, boy, uh, the shadow is sleeping. That's why he is not out. But here, we have to give the scientific reason. Because what do you think? No. I think early in the morning, the sun does not rise. We know that light is necessary for forming shadow. So, early in the morning, the sun does not rise. And the shadow could not be formed without sunlight. That is the main reason. Okay. Question number C. Yo. Do you think it is good to be lazy and sleepy head? Do you think? Give reasons for your answer. No, it is not uh, uh, good now. Sleepy and... Uh, no, lazy, becoming sleepy and lazy is not a good habit. So, logical answer you have to give. Do you think it's good to be uh, lazy and sleepy head? No, it is not good to be lazy and sleepy head. We have to be punctual and hardworking. Hmm. Hardworking is very necessary to get success in life. And in the same way, punctuality is also necessary. Punctuality means... Uh, doing everything in time, remaining on time every way, everywhere in life is called punctuality. So punctual, remaining punctual, punctual and uh, hardworking. No, these are the two essential qualities. If we become lazy, what will happen? We will not be able to work hard. And if we no become sleepy head, that means we will always be uh, be sleepy and uh, no get up uh, late at in the morning that's why we will not be able to complete any task in time so we have to be punctual and hard working to get success in life that's why we should leave laziness and rise early in the morning okay so question answer is completed uh, let us move to the activity section simile what are the similes let us take what are the similes. Okay. A simile is a comparison between two different things. Is a comparison between two different things uh, using as or like these two words. As or like. If we compare two objects using as or like, then this is called simile. Why? Because we have to show the qualities. We have to match uh, the quality of one to the other. For example, swim like fish. What is the quality of fish? Swimming. So, if we say that uh, we want to swim, then like whom? Fish is the best swimmer. That's why I am comparing swimming to fish. In the same way, sleeping like dog. You have, may have noticed that the dog always sleep except night throughout the day. That's why sleep like dog. Fight like a lion. Nobody can fight. Uh, oh, no is stronger. No animal is stronger in the world like lion. That's why lion is the best fighter. That's why fight like a lion. So these are using like. And what about as? These are as fierce as tiger. Remember always to use to as. As fierce as tiger. As black as night. As quick as lightning. Lightning means the flash of light that you see on the sky during rainy season when black cloud comes on the sky the flash of electricity that you see on the sky is called lightning so this is very fast so as fast as quick as lightning 
that's why quickness is compared to lightning now find the similes used in the poem that we find in the poem these are the similes three similes for he sometimes suits up taller like an indian rubber ball suiting up taller has been compared to indian rubber ball because we know that uh, rubber ball is uh, uh, jumps very fast so suiting up taller like an indian rubber ball same to stick to a nursey similarly number 2 same to stick to a nurse to nursey as that shadow sticks to me so the nursey has been compared to the boy sticks to me the boy has been compared to the nursey who is the nursey the boy is nursey so that is why it is used but my laziness but my lazy little shadow like an errant sleepy head but my lazy little shadow like an errant sleepy head lazy little shadow little shadow is lazy how it is lazy compared to a sleepy head like an errant sleepy head the head that is completely sleepy feeling sleepy in this uh, in this way the lazy little shadow is compared so let's see little shadow like an errant sleepy head so these are the uh, three similes in the poem and uh, we will move to complete these phrases using similes i was as ang hang hungry as wolf wolves are a very voracious animal we know that's why as hungry as wolves he was so tired he was so tired that he slept like a little baby all night so sleeping like a little baby is best comparison the student is very smart and is he is as clever as a fox foxes are the cleverest animal in the world that's why as clever as a fox the car moved fast as fast as i have said that the quickness is compared to the lightning that's why lightning is as fast as lightning car is as fast as lightning at the end of the tiring day i was as tired as an ox ox means the bull so we know that the oxes are very tiring animal after the end of the day the oxes feels very tired that's why they uh, sleeps and uh, in the same way tiring getting tired is compared to an ox okay the next next section now describe the paragraph in the space given below on your visit to an amusement park suppose you have uh, visited to an amusement park what is the amusement park where all kinds of uh, entertaining things are found uh, the park where all the entertaining things uh, entertainment uh, things for entertainment like uh, merry go round like roller coaster ride magic show and every other uh, other things that amuses us that's why uh, this park is called amusement park so on this you have to write an uh, paragraph so all writing you have to take care that you should use all these these similes here these activity similes i have written a sample paragraph let us see on my last birthday my parents arranged trip to an amusement park for me and my friend i love amusement park we all were gathered at 7 am and my father drove us to the park as i entered the park i was amazed at the enormous rides the roller coaster was as fast as lightning we know that roller coasters are very fast that's why this i have compared a roller coaster with uh, lightning so first one is first simile has been used we enjoyed roller coaster ride very much then we went to watch the magic show what happened at the magic show magic the magician was very very clever the magician was as clever as a fox i saw how the magician vanished the magician disappeared and and uh, vanished and again he re reappeared in front of us that was amazing we also took the ride of merry go round we got a eerie sensation eerie sensation means the feelings that we got 
when uh, seeing a, a ghost or uh, while we ride a merry go round or we ride a roller coaster this is sensation we had a great ride at the evening we got tired as an ox so this is the simile we got tired as an ox at the end of the uh, of the amusement park uh, visiting amusement park we plan to return at 8 pm so in this way we came back at 9:30 home i was at, after coming home i was feeling as hungry as an wolf so this is another simile after eating my dinner i felt fast asleep at 10 o'clock i slept very long like a baby so this is another simile i got at 8 pm i went to school and shared my experience with my friends they enjoyed it so this is the end of the paragraph so that's the end of this poem and also i conclude the first chapter of your class in this class you have to memorize all the class works of this chapter like two silver cups all the question answers all the uh, word meanings all the opposite words all the grammar portions you have to repeat because at any day i will give you a surprise test till then goodbye